Lisa and Marvin are, I'm dancing. Let's guess what I have. In here is four out of the seven new releases happening right now of the piggies. Have not opened them yet. Now, oh, okay, before I get excited, okay, there's four in here. Um, two of them I have been begging for for about a year. Let me explain. If you've watched my videos, you know it's very hard for me to find a green that I like. If you've watched my videos, you've heard me talk about making my own custom color light green, which I call Martha Stewart green, because it's very Martha Stewart-esque. You know, when I think of Martha, I think of like a light lime pastel green, and I've been making them um, with my tubes, and I believe in here is a Martha Green, just for me. Of course, they're not calling it Martha Green. We'll look at it. The second one that I'm excited about, you know, the other custom color I always make is a Smoky Perps. Now, it's very hard to make purple, apparently, as a pigment, so it's, I don't think it's exactly like a Smoky Perps, but we can always doctor it a little bit. And then there's two other like gorgeous ones, whatever. I haven't even seen them. Okay. So, um, I'm opening, hold on. I'm not gonna like look at them without you. I'm just taking the tape off. Good packing job. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Cute, paper as always. Take out the paper. Wait, I'm not even looking. Taking out the paper. Ooh. Okay, so let's reach in. Are you ready? Which one's gonna come first? <gasps> what is this color? Deja Vu. Is this my perps that looks super neon? It could be, but don't fear. Look at this. Oh my God. Definitely not smoky, but is it like so neon? Now the reason it's called Deja Vu, by the way, is because Billy had said she doesn't want to add any more neons to her disco line, but they just couldn't resist this gorgeous color. So I'm really excited to play with that one. Are you ready for the next one? Is it gonna be Martha? Not Mar, oh my God, it's not Martha, but look, Bellini. It's like, um, like a peachy, uh, not orangey, but very, peachy it's not as brown as it's looking right now gorgeous shimmer peach bleeny okay ready uh, oh my god they're saving martha for last okay here we have rose <gasps> okay look at this gorgeous like pinky um what would i call it like a nudie pinky really pretty like ladylike pink all right, ready for Martha? We've been waiting a year for this. This is the smoky perps. That means Martha is not here yet. Oh my God, I thought Martha was in this box. So I was right, the, the smoky perps is in this box. By the way, it's okay about the Martha. I'm getting it soon, but this makes it all worth it. This is like what I've been trying to make as a two paint. Oh. MG, by the way, this is called Violet Rain. Okay, <sighs> I'm, I feel a lot better. At least I have one of my custom colors. So let's review again. So far, this is what we got. Violet Rain, my Smoky Perps. Let's just call it Smoky Perps. Really cute, um, pinky. I'm not gonna be able to hold them all. Really gorgeous, like peach tone. Oh my God. Look at how nice they look together. And then we have the neon, I can't hold it professionally, Deja Vu. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm going to be releasing one every day. Um, and then I'll do another unboxing when I finally get my Martha, but don't worry, that'll be in a few days. So I have a bunch of paints already mixed up from my previous videos. So let's go for shopping and let's pick one, um, to do today and I'll go shopping every day for more things. I obviously have to start with this, right? Okay, so let's go over to the paint and pick some colors. Okay, these are my paints already mixed. Luckily I just did that Amsterdam video. 
um, and the weighing video measuring my pouring medium. So I have a lot of tube paints mixed up here. These are my piggies that are mixed up. These are my chameleons, these stuck up piggies. These are my cell activators. So I can definitely mix more, but let's talk about the color choosing process. To remind you, we have gorgeous violet rain. Now, looking at it, it's a pretty warm purple. So I wanna keep that in mind. Um, so let's start over here. Um, definitely yellow and purple work together. Um, that's their complementary. I don't know if I wanna go super yellow, but you know what might start to look nice. This is TLP um, Lemon Sorbet. So it looks yellow, but it actually has a really nice gold effect to it. So why don't I start with that? I'll put that over here, okay? So we have that going on. Let me put her this way so we can imagine. I like that already. But remember, we need to get some tubies in there because we can't have too many piggies. Okay, now, do I like the look of, so this is Australian sky blue. I always love it, but um, this is a little cool. But what I see, what I mixed yesterday, this looks a little warmer actually. This is Amsterdam, uh, sorry, Old Holland. Um, Old Holland, I'll get you the name right here. This is a uh, violet gray, okay, Old Holland. So first of all, you can see the difference of what I'm talking about, where this has, is a touch warmer than this. So that's what I'm gonna go for, actually. Woo, loving this combo already, if you can see, you see? Yeah, okay. Okay, I like where we're heading. So we'll need another tubey. You don't want to be really nice. Hmm. Should I add a layer of black pouring medium? You know how I love to add a layer of black to get some really cool depth. This will be a maybe, okay? This is just um, bone black in my pouring medium because if we're going smoky perps, we have to go moody, right? So we're feeling very moody now. I need a bit of a warm, another warm tone. So I'm not gonna go pink, obviously. Um, do you know what? You know what I always love is an interference. This is twinkle like a blue violet interference, which, which might look nice. So you're not gonna know it, see it now, but you'll see it over this black. Okay, but back to tubes. I mean, I could add a lot of pigments, but we don't wanna do that. But I'm really loving this vibe. Do I even wanna do anything else? Um, how would I layer this? So far, by the way, the layering would go. This would be my top color, and I would use a Payne's Gray Cell Activator. So it goes something like something like this. I'd have to think about where the violet goes because I really want it to show. So I should do one more layer because um, I don't want to put it near the bottom. So let's do another tuby and then the violet rain on top of that. Okay, and this is how you build a palette, right? Ugh. Guys, this is gonna kill, no matter what, I know it. Okay, we just need another tubey in between that interference. So, do I wanna go purple? Not necessarily, um, cause it just might be too purple. You know, this is um, permanent Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet, which is very nice. Meh, not feeling it. But, am I crazy if I put a little green? shadow green in there i don't think i'm crazy would it make it too dark though oh it might be really nice you know what i think i'm gonna do it am i crazy how is this violet rain gonna look on top of the green it might look really great okay i think that's what we're gonna do guys so we have the let me move you maybe a little bit you can see better we have lemon sorbet bone black twinkle shadow green violet rain and that gray violet with my Payne's gray cell activator she's gonna be moody i hope the green isn't too dark if not i can just 
omit the green and put the violet rain on top of there, but you know, um, and I'm wondering guys, I got a new pillow paint color to go majestic purple. Let's check it out. So this is the color it dries to. So they dry darker. Should I do it? Should I do Oh, I'm trying to open it. Hold on. Should I do a purse? So remember, this is quite light right now. They do dry darker. Hold on. Let me at least, you know what? The thing will be so dark, but who cares? She's moody. We're doing it. Majestic purse for violet rain. Okay. I'm going to go mix her up. And then we'll head over to the spinner and see what we can do. Be right back. Okay, here we have a 12 incher. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet. I do know I obviously probably want some negative space for this purple to show. Okay, and I don't want too much, but then of course, you know what I just did. Probably put too much. <laughs> Um, so I just get bored of the same old thing. Oh, I see a blue. Hold on. All the time, you know? And it's really hard to come up with new ideas or things that are like another blue, kind of exciting, you know? Like, there's only so many swipes, or come on, bloop or bloom vines, there we go, or one blooms, or multi blooms, or you know what I mean? So, but still, we don't know what we're doing right now. I'm gonna bloom, I'm not gonna swipe because I didn't prepare for a swipe. Um, I'll do an off-centered bloom, all right? <laughs> so exciting. So I'll just like kind of go a little bit off-center and then hopefully, you know, we'll have like a purple on top. I don't know. Did I put too much though? Because I don't want to have to spin it too much. There is a lot on there. Okay. So let's go with this. Lemon sorbet. And because I don't, I was going to say I don't want to put too much. Because I do want to have that purple. We'll see how that goes. Um. Okay, we'll do a bit of the black on top. I wanted to say, you know, I appreciate all your guys' comments on here, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. And I feel <clears throat> so bad because I try to keep up with them because I know, you know, you guys take time out of your day to write me and, you know, say nice things and um, I can't always get to them, but like, I appreciate them so much and I feel so bad and I put so much pressure on myself because then, you know, they start to like build up, build up, build up and like, you know, so just a little note to tell you guys, I love you and I appreciate your comments. And if I don't get your comments anywhere, not just here, but anywhere, I read them and I love you and thank you. That's it. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I really hope I do this justice. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to come over here. I think you guys can see me blood blow better when I'm on this angle. Okay. We'll put our paints gray. Okay. Suck. Okay. Cutie patoots. We'll let her sink and do her thing. Okay. And I don't hate the green, you know, that you guys will tell me about. Um, you see a little bit of that lemon sorbet sparkle. So I'm definitely gonna want to make this look pretty because that's the part um, that we're really gonna see most. So you know what I do. Just 
kind of like, you know, and it doesn't matter that the pillow came up because it's like a really nice purple, so, you know, let me just be out of it. Okay, here. Okay. I think we are getting good because that's probably going to come off anyways. But you know, we'll just. Well, that's cute actually. Why don't I do that more? Okay. Now. Why don't I do like a little step, oops, a little step like that, you know? I could. Okay, well, I'm not gonna mess with this too much. Start spinning and then tilting. Really cute. I'm just gonna slowly have her go more this way, you know what I mean? Definitely want to do that stem thing again, though. <laughs> Patience is so nice to have when you're trying to tilt. Okay. Um, I do want her more this way. Where's she going? Okay. <sighs> Going good. I'm very focused right now. Sorry, I'm not talking. I love these like super um, negative space ones. They look like, and if you can make it look like a flower, they look like those like botanical studies, you know? Um, I think I like this. So hold on, let's look at the tilting. How much, you know what? I don't even have that much paint left to spin off. So that's handy. Okay. Sparkles on point. We're definitely gonna go do another one, by the way, of something, but this is kind of pretty, right? I'll show you in the light. Okay, I'm gonna do one more spin and I wanna do, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I'll think about it. Okay. The middle is still moving a little bit. Like, you know, I can't complain about her, can I? She's very, she's like floating, she's mysterious, she's moody. So let me take you to the light, then we'll discuss what we're doing next. We'll be right back. Okay, so my next idea, because you know we were talking about leaves, is I'm going to do a swipe like this with green TLP sea glass, okay? And then I'm going to bloom, and then we'll make like leaves, you know, the huge. See how it goes. And again, Lisa, don't put too, too much paint down because, oh, that was a big bloop. I'll get it in a second. We want to, we don't want to have to stretch it too much. 
All right, let me find <clears throat> that little bloopy. These cans have so many bloops. By the way, I did a huge exact measurement video a few videos back. I broke out the scale. It was painful, but I actually did learn a lot. And I actually did learn that I'm pretty precise with my bloops. So there was a method to my madness. I just didn't know. Okay, we're just gonna spread her around. I do see another little bloop. We don't want those in our way. All right, let's make sure it's gone. Then we'll go for my leafy idea. Okay. Are you ready? Let me go like this so nothing gets in our way. Okay. So I think on my spatula, I'm going to put everything that I want. So I know it's dirty, whatever. Clean it. It's fine. Um, I'm going to put my cell activator first, okay? And you know what I do. I spread it out like a cake. Take some off because you don't need that much. You just want like a super thin layer, okay? Then what I'm going to do is add my shadow green like this, okay? Then I'm going to add my sea glass. This is one of my favorite light green tailpiece. <laughs> Until Martha comes, that is. Oops, that was a bloop. I hope that doesn't bug me. Okay. And just like that. Okay. I'm going to just swipe straight down. Okay, cute little cells, and we'll see kind of where they form. Clean your tool. And we'll see what's happening. I don't know if I'm gonna form them yet. I definitely know this part's boring, you know, but we can kind of move it around. Um, Cool, cool, cool. Now you're gonna ask me what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I guess I can bloom right inside of one and then make leaves. This is quite a thick leaf situation. I probably should have done a thinner thing, but I couldn't find one, so don't judge. Okay, bloom or are we like, Blooming this way and this way. Whatever. I have this vision. I'm going to... I've never done this before, so why don't we do it? I'm going to do a multi-bloom, but I'm not going to blow it all the way around. I'm going to blow one multi-bloom this way and one multi-bloom that way to make a diagonal. Okay? We've never done it. It could be a total fail and that's okay. And I don't mind leaving on a fail to be honest because the first one was great. This is more just for fun. You know, get our like creative juices going a little bit. Okay, so here we go. And I so because I'm not blowing it all out, I want to um, not put too much paint so I can blow it out on one side. Okay, because I'm gonna blow like that. Okay. I don't know, we're just playing around, right? Sometimes you just gotta play around. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Uh, I don't need to add any green. Or should I? You know what, I'll add a bit of green. Just right under the purple rain. I mean, violet rain. I don't know, is this a thing? I just have this vi visione that came, oops, shoot, came to me. Okay, so I know I made a mess, don't worry. Okay, we're gonna blow, you know it'd be really great if I actually used a hair dryer. Do I have a hair dryer handy? 
with like an attachment. I definitely, oh shit. I definitely don't, I don't know what this hair dryer is. I don't have the attachment that I'd want for it. Um, no, I'll be more, better prepared next time. Let's just try this out before we get too excited. I'm gonna put the cell activator here, okay? Oh, I'll go here so you can see. <clears throat> okay, because what happened is because I already swiped, there's not a thing of paint. I was going to put a thing of paint, but I said no. But don't worry. We'll put a thing of paint next time. If you don't have enough pillow paint down under where you blow, you're just gonna get a lot of pillow and not a lot of movement. But I'm not concerned yet, okay? Because we're just going for fun shapes now. But I will show you the difference. Should I show you the difference or should I just keep it uniform? I'm gonna keep it uniform. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So really my goal was to get it further, but because there was no paint there to blow, whatever, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I put a little bit more paint down, a pillow to pillow the, okay, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again. Okay. Go a little, ugh. Lisa, okay, I gotta be more careful. Okay, if this is a fail, I'm going to redo it again properly, but this could be a cool idea um, if I do it properly. You know what I mean? If I don't do it properly, then I don't know, it could be crazy. It's already looking a little crazy, but we're not going to judge me just yet. Okay. We're gonna have faith about something. Okay, so this one, my goal is to blow out this way. Which didn't work really again but don't worry we're not panicking yet okay now you're saying to yourself what in god's name is going on here <laughs> and i am going to tell you firstly do this. That can actually look pretty. It's okay. Okay. So, what am I looking at? I'm looking at something horrifying at the moment. Can I fix it? What if I just, because at this point, it's not doing what I want to do. I'm going to need a hair dryer and to be better prepared. What if I just Okay, just for now, that's gonna come off anyways. Okay, so this, okay. Like a cute little shape, okay. There's no shame in the shape game, okay. This, off there. I actually like this part here. Okay, let's see if I can do something similar. Okay. I'm gonna spin it out for fun. Obviously we know it's weird looking. So I don't have any illusions about it. But it's good to spark some new ideas. You know, so it's not everything's always the same and so stale. Okay. 
Now, all right. I'm not giving up on her yet, just so you know. Okay. Um, this little thing. All right. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna spin it at this point. Okay, ready? kind of weird but I don't know you know it's not as horrifying as I thought it would be when I started <laughs> okay Do I care that it's right down the middle and not, um, not off center? Which way would I do it? Yeah, like this way. Let's see, I'm just gonna tilt her down a bit this way until this edge comes off and okay. All right, well, listen, it's not a masterpiece, but I thought I was gonna have to trash it. But I think it's actually kind of interesting, definitely different, um, kind of cool, right? I mean, I don't know, you guys will tell me if that was a waste of time. But I do hope that it inspires you to like kind of try new things sometimes so you guys don't get in a rut, you know? I definitely get in ruts. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave her the way she is. And uh, I'm gonna take you to the light. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I hope you like Violet Rain. Um, and uh, stay tuned for the next reveal. Talk to you soon, bye.